What's up? My name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot, and in today's video, I'm going to be continuing my ShareX video series. In the previous video, we covered how to disable automatic image uploads, and in today's video, we're going to be running through automatic uploads to Google Drive. What exactly is that? Well, instead of having your images you take uploaded to Imager by default, you can get them to upload to your private Google Drive page, meaning that absolutely no one has access to them other than you on your Google Drive account. This is the default imager upload, but of course, if we want it to be uploaded to Google Drive instead, how exactly do we go about doing that? Well, first of all, open up ShareX, and then on the left-hand side, we'll look for Destinations. We'll click this, and under Image Uploader, we'll find Google Photos, but of course, Google Photos is a different service, keep this in mind. It's similar, but it's not the same. If we find File Uploader, we can then find Google Drive. Upon clicking it, and then taking a screenshot, then right-clicking on the image and clicking Upload, we'll be taken to this page over here. Of course, we can get to it another way, but as far as I know, this is the easiest way. When you see this page over here, click Open Authorized Page, and we ask to sign into Google. Upon doing that, it asks if we want to give it access to our account, and I'll click Allow. Then we'll get a code on our screen. Of course, I'll have to blur this. All you have to do is click the two pages next to it to copy it. Heading back to ShareX, under verification code, all we need to do is click in this text box and paste it in with control V. Then simply click complete authorization. Then we'll see login successful and status logged in. At this point, we'll click upload files to a selected folder. Then we'll click refresh folders list. Then we have all of our folders inside of our Google Drive directory. Now, of course, I'll go ahead and create one. So I'll simply make a new folder and I'll call it images. Upon doing that, I can head back to share X, refresh the folder list, and we see the new folder at the very top. We can double check it's the correct one if you have a duplicate folder by looking at the folder ID. What exactly is this? Well, when you open up the folder, you'll see the folder's ID up here, 1HFLV, 1HFLV. So we have the correct folder selected. I'll leave it as is. Then I'll simply close out of this window and upon taking our next screenshot or uploading one, it should be on our Google Drive automatically. I'll click Upload. As you can see, it's busy uploading. And now it's complete. I can right click in it, open URL, and you can see it opens our Google Drive folder over here. Here's the image that we took a screenshot of automatically uploaded. If we have a look inside of the folder, here it is over here. So of course, this is completely private. Only you and people with the link can see it. If we right click in it and click get shareable link, you can see that it's already selected as such. Anyone with this link can view it. This link over here that we can copy is the one that's automatically copied to our clipboard when we click open. However, if you want to change that so that it doesn't automatically have that shareable link enabled, simply head across to Destinations, then Destination Settings at the bottom, locate Google Drive and click on it, then we'll uncheck Is Public Upload. After doing that, taking our next screenshot or uploading a previous image, upon opening the URL, if we have a look inside of the folder list over here, you can see that this one doesn't have the shared icon next to it. In order to share this with someone else, we'll either have to download it and upload it to a different service or right click on it, get shareable link, and we can copy it as such. We can copy for restricted, only certain people can view it, and anyone with this link can view it, or edit it, comment, etc, etc. But of course, that's up to you. Anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you all for watching. My name is Ben Seknoba here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.